For the student division, we have two finalists. We have John Larry I. Cebuano, Bayani Initiatives, President of Ramon Magsaysay State University. And next, Provides tutorial classes to pupils who are far from the schools and organizes outreach programs to help the indigenous people in remote places. So, John Larry I. Cebuano. Then, we have Jillian Francesca D. Trinidad, Child's Post Yoga Project Philippines Incorporated. Division, our last finalist is Elvin Jerome A. Laceda, Rise Up Farmers Incorporated. Elvin created the farm school system to connect to the market through the Rise Up app and engage in agricultural development with the use of technology and entrepreneurship principles. And now for the Young Professional Division. We have John Carlo D. Bernal, Project Viajero. JC initiated projects that promote volunteerism, empower partner communi communities, and protect the environment through responsible tourism. Then we have Mark D. Boris. Boris Youth Leadership Institute Incorporated. Mark started the Boris Youth Leadership Institute Incorporated to provide holistic youth leadership opportunities to impact the nation and the world through volunteerism and action. Next, we have Mark David Cerezo, Pinoy Malikain, the Philippine Rubber Man. Mark performs stress debriefing, debriefing activities to children through puppet shows, fun games, and sharing of Bible stories. Next, we have Jeremy M. Crescentio, I Shift Philippines. Jeremy started I Shift to give way for the public to experience humanitarian and environmental related involvements through a series of outreach projects. Then we have Kim Alvin C. Dalara. 
contextualization and localization, integrated climate change adoption for a resilient schools. And last but not least, for Young Professional Division, we have Antonio F. Zulueta Jr., AHA Learning Center. Jayton established the AHA Learning Center to provide free premium after-school education to pop 